Hi doctor, my two children are blood group O+, while I am A+. Should I be worried about the paternity of the children because my wife is O+. Ooh, the paternity question, and it gets asked a lot. Watch this video to the end to find out why a father who has a different blood group from his kids does not mean he's not their biological dad. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day now. Set aside your worries, it's okay now. The sun is here to stay. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I'm Dr. Sylvia. I'm a general practitioner and the founder of Ask Away Health, where we provide you with direction and clarity about everything medical. Do please subscribe to our channel, and when you do, don't forget to click. The notification bell down at the bottom so that every time we publish a new video which is usually once a week on Saturdays you'll be one of the first to know about it so let's jump right into today's topic so this is the question there's a man who is blood group A plus who has a partner or is married to a lady who's blood group O plus and all the children are O plus or O positive and this chap is concerned that these kids aren't mine, how come none of them is A or A plus? So let's look at why this could happen and whether or not there's any validity in or any, um, any, any truth in his suspicions. So let's start with understanding blood groups. There are several different blood groups and classifications for blood type. The ones that we're going to look at today are one, the ABO blood group classification from where um, you get groups like uh, blood group A, blood group B, blood group O and blood group AB. There's also the rhesus factor or the rhesus type from which you have um, rhesus plus or rhesus positive and um, rhesus negative or rhesus um, minus or RH minus and RH plus as the case may be. So how do individuals develop blood group? Now your blood group is determined by the genetic material that you inherit from both your biological parents. The O gene is considered to be recessive. That means that when it is in the presence of another type of gene that is dominant, the expression of the O gene is silent, i.e. you actually don't see it being expressed. If, for example, um, if you look at a gene that determines the shape of your nose, and this is just a far out example, if that particular gene were recessive, then it will not it would not contribute to the way your nose looks. So there are certain conditions and there are certain genes that are recessive. They are actually present, but you find that they are not um, they are not physically expressed. They can be inherited and passed on from one person to the next in terms of generation, but unless there is more than one of them, the expression, the physical expression, is is silent. So in the case of an individual who is AO, because the O gene is recessive and the A gene is dominant, the person is known as a blood group A. The person who has genetic component AA is referred to as A. There are no issues with that one. In that instance, it is possible to have two individuals who are both blood group A. Whereas one person has genetic components or composition AA, the other individual who is also blood group A has a genetic composition AO. And that's similar for people who are blood group B, for example. Two blood group A individuals, both the same blood group but different genetic comp um, compositions because one person can be blood group BO while the other person is blood group B be in terms of the genes that comprise their blood group. So now let's look into the blood group differences and how it may um, affect paternity if at all. So it's important to know what the genetic comp um, composition of the, of the group is because that's what determines what you transfer or transmit to your children. For the individual who has blood group A, who has genetic component or composition AO, if they partner with a blood group O um, lady who has genetic composition OO, that combination or that couple 
potentially will have children with type A and type O. In the other instance, for somebody who has blood group A and whose genetic composition is AA, who partners with an, a lady with blood group O and genetic composition OO, they're going to have children with blood group A because your combination of A and O goes, is that the possible combinations for the, all the children that they will have is A and O and whenever O is expressed with A, a is the dominant gene and so the person, the individual, is blood group A. Okay, so to simply summarize, when a person with blood group A, um, gene composition AA, partners with somebody with O, uh, the potential combination that their children, the potential blood groups their children could have are blood group AO. And those kids will be referred to as blood group A because don't forget O is the recessive. When a person with a blood group A, but genetic composition AO partners with somebody who has blood group O, they could potentially have children who are AO and OO. So in that instance, they will have children or they could potentially have children with blood group O and blood group A. So this directly responds to this inquiry from this gentleman. Yes, it is possible that your wife has not cheated on you and these children who have blood group O are yours because your genetic composition is AO. So you have passed the O gene to your kids and when that combines with their mom's O gene, both O and O expressed together, the person has a genotype O. So let's look at the RH factor while we're discussing these types, these blood groups and types um, anyway. The RH factor gene is also inherited from our parents as genetic material, but it's done completely separate to the way the ABO classification um, blood group is inherited. So for the RH factor, there are two different genes. There's the RH plus or the RH minus genes. Now, an individual who is RH positive has two genetic components. RH plus and RH plus or RH plus and RH minus. In this case, the RH minus is the recessive gene. So once it's present with the RH plus, the RH plus is dominant. So just like in the ABO genes, each biological parent contributes uh, one half of the genetic component to their child. So an individual, a mother or father, who is RH negative, can only pass RH minus or RH negative genes to any of their children. So they're RH negative, they have two genes, both of them are RH minus, RH minus. And a parent who is RH positive can be in one of two scenarios. They either have two RH plus genes or they have one RH plus and one RH minus. So the person who has two RH plus genes is only going to be able to pass, you know, uh, one RH plus and one RH plus to any of their children. While the individual who is RH positive but has one RH plus gene and one RH minus gene can pass either to their children. So you might find that one of those children will have the RH minus gene. And if this parent has partnered with um, um, a spouse or partner who also has RH um, minus gene, so they could be either their RH negative or their RH positive, but have the genetic composition RH plus RH minus. So this is why you could have a different blood group from your children, but be their biological parent or father. It's the gene composition that we're interested in, or that actually determines the expression or whichever um, um, group that your child eventually um, is going to end up with. So just assuming that because you're A and therefore none of the kids are A and uh, assuming that there's a problem somewhere that is that's not right. Rather than hold grudges or make accusations, just get a paternity test. Um, using blood groups to make guesses or to make assumptions, that's totally wrong. A paternity test is a conclusive way to determine these issues. So that was the summary of the response I made to this um, gentleman. And I really hope this has helped somebody. 
Of course, if you've got any other questions or you want us to cover um, something more specific related to this topic, feel free to send an email on info at askawayhealth.org. I'm always happy to hear from you and I will leave the link in the description. Don't forget you can join our Ask Away Health community. We have an online platform on www.askawayhealth.org that we'd love for you to join. And um, of course, it's free to subscribe at the moment and you have access to um, health information, health advice, and publish our blog. And of course, the opportunity to ask us specific questions that we could actually run a video on. So if you found this video helpful, just slap a like on it, share it with a friend, tell me it was helpful, and um, I hope to see you again sometime soon. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day now. Set aside your worries, it's okay now The sun is here to stay Blue sky